predicted, the Democrats and their media have united in praising Joe Biden for lying about his gun-grabbing policies, threatening a concerned voter with violence, and telling his female aide to shush multiple times. It appears that the media has taken Joe Biden's threats against criticizing him very seriously. Ask the right question. Can you even begin to imagine the national uproar if Trump told some woman to shush on camera? Where's all the feminists and pearl-clutching activists? Alyssa Milano was on Twitter applauding Biden. Of course, we all know that these displays of outrage are purely political and not grounded at all in any kind of real principles. The only kind of standards that they have are double standards which they enforce against their opposition. In this very predictable and obvious example, CNN, MSNBC, and in fact all all the networks are editing out the Joe Biden meltdown video to leave out the portion where he was threatening a concerned citizen with violence. You heard me right, they're just editing that part out. Networks like NBC, CBS, and ABC are just ignoring it as if it never happened. And instead, they're spinning it as Joe Biden reacting strongly to a right-wing troll. Just try and watch this without dying a little bit inside. On primary day in Battleground, Michigan, a tense confrontation. Joe Biden cursing at an auto worker who went after his views on guns. Take the AR, the AR-14s. Okay, this is not okay. Hold on, hold on. Right. A lot of guys wanted it. I'm not worried. Thanks so much. Give me a break. 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 So, as you see, they completely remove the portion where Joe Biden makes the threat. You'll notice that NBC and CBS show it right up to the point where the factory worker says, that's not okay, and edits it in a way that it appears he was just responding to Biden. Not to the fact that Joe Biden's finger was pointed at his face. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. Stephen King once wrote, Panic is highly contagious, especially in situations where nothing is known and everything is in flux. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact, making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. The experts at My Patriot Supply have told me that orders have now reached about 100 times normal volume and they're shipping on a first come, first serve basis. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Over on Twitter, both NBC and CBS edited the video to remove Biden's threats. And that's strange because doesn't Twitter have a new policy where they remove videos that are deceptively edited? But as we all know, that's just a pretext for them to censor their opposition. Over at CNN, they had nothing but good things to say about Biden's violent outburst, describing the incident as, quote, charming and authentic. It's like they're being in your face hypocritical just to be dicks. And by the way, CNN also edited out the threat and makes no mention of it. You have, you know, white factory workers, mostly white men who own guns, who think the Democrats are going to take them away. No, no, you're saying you're I did not say that. That's not true. I did not say that. Joe Biden defending his position on gun control, saying the gentleman on the floor was exaggerating it, that he's not coming to take away their guns. What? He didn't say he was exaggerating. He said he was full of shit. And here we go again with fake journalists carrying water for a Democrat. Here's what Joe Biden actually said. Let me make something clear. I'm going to guarantee you this is not the last year seen of this guy. You're going to take care of the gun problem with me. You're going to be the one who leads this effort. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. You can guarantee that if the roles were reversed and this was a Republican presidential candidate being put on the spot, CNN and all the other networks would have brought out this old footage. You know, again, some people see that as charming, a candidate who's willing to air it out face-to-face -face with a guy on the floor. Some people say, whoa. You For his campaign, it's 
they've pushed it out and said that this shows Biden's authentic, authenticity, the mo no malarkey part of the, the Biden um, approach. I think that hurts Joe Biden. No, I, I mean, his campaign has been tweeting it out, basically. But, yeah, <laughs> I mean, the, that, right. that, that shows him pushing back they on like an the, issue that, like that is a signature issue. Probably not a Biden yeah. voter anyway, though. Yeah. Right, yeah. seriously. Yeah, that, guy, that guy did not. <laughs> right, yeah. seriously. Yeah, that, guy, that guy did not. Do these people not know how they look to anybody that's not a hardcore Democrat? Every single person in that panel took part in the deception for the purposes of protecting and promoting Joe Biden. Would they have talked this way if it was Trump or even Bernie Sanders who had this exchange with a factory worker? Of course not. They would be playing up the portions where he shushes the woman and they'd be playing up the part where he makes the threats. But instead, unsurprisingly, what we find are fake journalists that are actually Democrat activists who are towing the party line. There definitely won't be any long-winded diatribes from Brian Stelter or anybody in the former fourth estate about how the left-wing media are misrepresenting what occurred and are presenting a deceptively edited video to do it. Just stop for a minute and really take in just how corrupt and nefarious this is. We're living in a country that's essentially being held hostage by the propaganda apparatus of one of the political parties. Mark my words, along with big tech, they're going to steal this election if they can. That's why I need your support to continue this fight. It takes a lot of time and research to put these videos together and with YouTube demonetizing everything that I upload, they've made it almost impossible to make money. If you enjoy my content and you agree with my mission, consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.